Breaking in the past hour, Channel 9 just questioned this man who police say is the guy who exposed himself to children at bus stops over the past few months. And we learned he pleaded guilty to flashing someone earlier this month and is accused of doing the exact same thing the very next day. Our Mark Becker spoke to the suspect as he was taken into jail. Mark? Scott, all things happening pretty quickly here in this case. It was just a couple of hours ago we learned that police had in fact picked up the man who they suspect of exposing himself to at least two uh, young girls and perhaps as many as eight. And we were here about 45 minutes ago as they led him out the side door there in handcuffs. Eric Henderson didn't want to say anything about the charges he's facing, though, not to me at least. Police announced this morning that they'd identify him as the suspect in those cases, and they were asking for help looking for him. His arrest comes just three days after police said they had tied as many as eight cases of indecent exposure to the same suspect. All of the victims were girls from 17 years old to as young as eight who were at school bus or city bus stops when a man exposed himself to them. The youngest of those victims, the eight-year-old, is Ebony Thompson's daughter. And she told us today it isn't easy, it wasn't easy for her to tell police what had happened, and she's still haunted by it. I'm telling her that, you know, you're helping a lot of girls out, you know, you're being brave, you're being strong, you know, don't feel fearful. At first she wasn't going outside, but now she's slowly adjusting to going outside and playing. That is certainly good to hear. Now, we have also found that Henderson was in fact arrested three previous times in the last two years for indecent exposure. Two of those cases were dismissed. A third case he pled guilty to. He's now facing charges again and may have more charges coming after the police interview here. Scott. All righty, Mark Becker for us live tonight. Thank you, Mark.